And joining us on the broadcast this minute is Glenn Deason, Professor of International Relations at the University of Southeastern Norway and an editor at the Russia in Global Affairs Journal. Thanks very much for being here on the broadcast. Let me begin by asking you, can Trump actually end the war like he has promised and striking a deal within 24 hours? Is that really realistic? Well, I doubt the 24-hour limit, but I do think he can end the war, given that he has huge leverage in both ways, because with the Ukrainians, the, the war has effectively already been lost. It doesn't really matter how much weapons they send now. The key problem is manpower. So uh, they can withdraw a lot of weapons to Ukraine if they do not accept his uh, peace deal or his, his terms, that is Trump's term. On the Russian side, it depends, because for them, uh, they have some very strict demands. First of all, they don't want any more NATO expansion. Uh, given that Trump has in the past uh, shown very little enthusiasm for NATO and also hinted that he's willing to take a NATO expansion off the table, uh, I think it's quite possible. And he also very much expressed the interest in not pushing China and Russia together, which is also known as Kissinger's worst nightmare. And if you don't want to do this, the worst thing you can do is pretty much expand NATO, because this is the, considered to be the greatest security threat to the Russian Federation. So uh, he has what he, what he needs to offer the Russians, and he has enough to pressure the Ukrainians. So uh, it, it is possible. But again, uh, Trump is a bit of a wild card, so it's unclear uh, what, what he's going to do. And what about Harris? What would a Harris presidency mean for the Ukraine war? Well, I think she's. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to be uh, much of a continuity of uh, Biden. Again, she's the incumbent, uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't expect too many changes. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I guess the counter argument would be that uh, Biden has really been at the center of this war ever since uh, 2014. Him and his family has had a yeah very key central role also in the escalation in 2021. So uh, as the war now uh, is very obvious to everyone, been lost. Uh, Harris could uh, possibly want to start her presidency by not uh, yeah, putting her stamp on it, by already trying to distance herself, not necessarily sell out the Ukrainians, but at least begin a diplomatic path uh, or just to go from a war to guerrilla warfare, because uh, I think the US still wants to bleed Russia uh, using Ukraine. But uh, that being said, I I, it's quite possible that uh, she would also take a different path. But I, I do think that she would also have to adjust to current realities, which is that, uh, yeah, the war is being lost and there's not much they can do anymore to turn this around. We're leaving it there for the moment, Glenn Deason. Thanks very much for being here. Up. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.